guys, I have yet another projector review. This one is pretty special. This is the BenQ GV30. It's the world's first built-in 2.1 channel speaker projector. It has two internal speakers, a left and a right side, but it also has a very high quality subwoofer built in there for high quality bass. As you can see on the box, superior sound by Trivolo. I'm super excited to test out the audio quality because I've had a lot of projectors and they've just had very standard speakers in there. I've always connected it to Bluetooth speakers, but this one having a very high quality set of speakers and a subwoofer built into it, that will basically just enhance and intensify your audio visual experience. Not just that, this is also fully wireless, so it runs off an internal battery if you'd like to. It runs at maximum two and a half hours, which I think is great for watching a movie, and it just gives you instant entertainment anywhere. Let's go ahead, let's unbox this and see what comes inside, and then I wanna showcase a few things. Of course, the sound quality, I wanna test out the superior sound with the subwoofer, play back some audio samples, maybe using digital surround sound audio clips, of course, the video quality to check how the picture is, run through some of the settings. This also comes with Android TV stick inside the box. So I'm gonna test that out and run through some of the different apps that this has on there. And then of course, this is portable as well. It runs off of a battery. Hopefully I'll get to showcase to you guys how it looks performing outdoors rather than just indoors. In terms of pricing, you can currently pre-order this at 499 pounds. However, check out my description. I have a 15% discount code for my UK viewers to get this at a lower price during the pre-order phase, valid by the end of September. And before we jump into all of that, let's go ahead and unbox this and then see some of the key specifications. So just before I open the box, the key specifications here on the side of the box, 720p native HD. It also has a 135 degree projection angle. 2.1 channel sound, like I mentioned. This is actually drop proof as well, so from up to 0.7 meters, if this does by a chance fall on the floor, then it should be absolutely fine. This also has a USB-C DP alt mode. So if you have a USB-C powered SSD state drive, then you can also connect that to play all of your media. 2.5 hours battery internal, so that is from a 4,800 milliamp internal battery for the projector. That's a very good amount of playback time for a projection home cinema system like this. This is what I really like, autofocus and auto keystone. All of the projectors I've used in the past, I'd have to manually adjust both the focus and the keystones. So I'm gonna try this out to see how well that works. Wireless projection, and then it has Bluetooth speaker capabilities as well. So you can connect to headphones or sound bars or anything else that you want to, to play the audio back from. Instantly, you can see that there's this nice gray carry case. This is where everything will be inside. The only other additional accessory in here is the BenQ HDMI media streaming TV stick, which is powered by Android TV. So this is what I will be connecting to the projector to use the Android TV capabilities. Now let's open this up. Okay. We've got the user manuals, the power brick and the plug. And you also have two AAA batteries for the remote control. This is a heavy duty stand with a rubberized bottom for the projector to hold that up. The projector itself, this is actually pretty heavy, but for the price you pay, you want it to be very heavy duty and of course be very durable as well. The quality on this looks so good. Now there's an internal speaker on this side, there's a speaker on this side. Just at the bottom here, you have one HDMI port there. This is the USB-C port, the headphone jack, and the DC input. At the bottom, you have yourself a quarter inch screw hole, so you can mount this on various different brackets or tripods. At the top, you have stand buttons here. You've got the power button, the volume up and down, and then you have the Bluetooth button there. Now this is the bulb itself, it's very compact. You can see this is where the autofocus and the auto keystone will be utilizing the projection from. So I think that's really clean. This very nicely designed BenQ remote control. This actually also has inbuilt Google Assistant. So it's gonna be very easy for you to quickly ask something through voice command to load up, possibly through the Android TV. If you ask it to open Netflix, then it can just do that very quickly. Pretty stand buttons across the board. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. The final piece of the puzzle is to just place this on top of the stand and it's very easy to do so. 
you place it like that and it's pretty solid. It doesn't really move. You can also angle it just by sliding it. So that's very convenient to get it the right projection angle for your screen. Now, how nice does that look? This actually kind of reminds me of the Amazon Fire Stick. And one other thing, this is a Google certified Android TV HDMI stick, which is one of the reasons why they also have a dedicated Google Assistant button on the remote control. One other thing before you start using Android TV, this comes with this tiny little orange pick that you need to use to insert the Android TV inside the projector. So there's a little gap there, which says ATV dongle open. All you have to do is just put this in there, press it down to clip it open, and then cycle through the entire thing, opening it one by one carefully without trying to damage the speaker itself. Once you've gone all the way around, then you will be able to pop this open. And this is actually where you would place the HDMI dongle. So you just take this out. There's a micro USB port just on the side of the dongle as well that you need to connect there. And then just at the bottom, there's the HDMI port that this will slot into. And this is kind of like the housing where this will always stay. And it will become a Android TV projector by using this method. There we go, I've now slotted it into place and then I can just close up the lid back into its rightful position. There we go, just make sure it's super tight and sealed all around. And that is how this will utilize the Android TV going forward. So it's connected, in, it's inside. You don't need to connect it to the HDMI port there, but this frees it up to give you an option to connect anything else via HDMI, maybe your laptop or any other external device. So let's go ahead and start this up, see how it performs. So as you can see, I've got my screen down behind me. I've set up the tripod as well, ready to put the projector on. The maximum projection is 100 inches for this projector, and that's roughly going to be around 2.7 meters away. I will be setting up at exactly those distances, so it will give you a showcase to see at the maximum resolution how good the quality is. So before I do that, let's go ahead and set this up for the first time and let it do autofocus and auto keystone by itself. This base itself is actually magnetic as well, so because this is a metallic plate, as soon as I drop it onto there, it's super solid and I can't really move it. You can see it's a great feature to have, so you can be pretty sure that this will keep the projector very stable. So to put the projector on, it's super easy. I don't need to do any fiddling around. Just place it on there and then after it's on, I can then angle it however I like to meet my projector screen. So that is very easy to do. I will, however, in this demo, plug in the DC adapter and use this power outlet to turn on the projector. Right, so let's turn on the projector for the first time and let's see if it will auto keystone and auto focus. So I can see that it's done the focus itself. I didn't need any involvement and this is really great. So if I wanted to move the position of the projector at any time, I don't need to worry about doing manual focus or manual keystoning every single time to do that, which makes it the ultimate portable projector solution. You have the option here when you first start it up to just correct any of the keystone if you think the auto keystone didn't do a particularly good job. In my opinion, it has done it pretty well, but I can go ahead, just manually correct it if I want to, just to make it slightly more even. So I've signed into Google and I've connected to my Wi-Fi. You also have the ability to do wireless streaming to this as well. So it has Chromecast built in. So if you've got an Android phone, you can screen mirror your phone directly to the projector, which is also great. There we go. And we are in. Now, the first thing I just wanted to point out before we get into Android TV, this remote control, I've actually just used this for the first time and it is so fluid, it's so smooth. I have a very fast response rate with the remote control. It's so nice to use. The buttons are so easy to press and compared to some of the other projectors, there's a very slight delay. This one, I can just go through each of the different apps and options very quickly and very easily. Now, having said that, there's plenty of options. You've got the whole Google Play Store at your fingertips, so you can add pretty much any type of app you like. You can go directly to the Play Store and add it to the list. 
Okay guys, in the first demo, I'm about to play a Dolby Atmos demo video, which will basically try to simulate surround sound. And I'm gonna be sitting next to the projector with my lavalier microphone. So hopefully you can get a good idea, although it will sound slightly different from your playback of however you're listening this video to. But this is going to be a good showcase of utilizing the 16 watt speakers with the four watt speakers of the left one and the four watt speakers of the right one, as well as the eight watt subwoofer inside there to give a very punchy audio experience. I will have this at full volume, which is at number 50. So it's going to be pretty loud. So let's go ahead and play this as a sample to give you guys an audio test. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. The soundscape system moved to the scene. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, you guys, let's go! Or captures the full extent of nature's fury. Alright guys, so I'm just going to pause it there. As you can probably hear, that was very loud and very punchy. I was so impressed with how cinematic this projector sounds compared to every other projector that I've used in the past. It's super loud. It's probably maybe five times louder than any other projector that I've had. But with that added subwoofer in there to give you very punchy bass, it makes it feel like you're actually in a cinema using a projection screen of this size. So for me, I'm so happy with how this sounds and it's no wonder that this is a such a premium product. So the next demo I wanted to showcase is around the picture quality. Now this projector is 300 lumens of brightness. It has 100,000 to one contrast ratio. So I'm gonna play a demo video which has lots of vibrant colors in there and hopefully you guys can get a good idea of how great of a quality this projector can provide. One other thing I really like about this projector as well is using the remote control as I was mentioning earlier. But with the Google Assistant button on there, it's so much easier to quickly open up your apps using voice commands. So if I press the button just there in the middle, which is the Google Assistant one, I can use that to open an app here as an example. Open Disney Plus. Opening Disney Plus. See how quick and easy that was and you know, I'm pretty amazed at the quality of this remote control 
as well as the projector. One other test I really want to do is with the USB-C port. Now I've got a USB disc here and I've connected a USB-C adapter to it. I've got a 30 second demo video from the BenQ YouTube channel, which I'm going to play just to showcase to you guys if you wanted to use USB-C to connect anything to showcase videos, pictures, audio files, whatever you like, then you can play that media directly through that. So let me go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, and the very final thing I wanted to showcase is the portability of this projector, using it with the internal battery and projecting a video clip onto a wall outdoors to see how it performs in other conditions without using a screen. So let's go ahead, step outside into my back garden and see how that looks. Now, as you guys saw, even outdoors, it creates a great cinematic experience. It's just as good outdoors as it is indoors. Of course, if you are watching at nighttime, that's the best time to use the projector outdoors, so you don't have a lot of natural light interfering into the projection. But for me, this is now my number one projector that I've ever had. And I really have to thank BenQ for sending me this. Now the GV30 comes in at £499. It's available for pre-order at the time you're watching this video. So check out the link in the description. It will give you all of the information and anything else you'd like to know about the projector. As always, if there's anything else you do want to know, drop a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you did like this projector and you like this review, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I've got new videos out every week and I'm going to be reviewing a lot of projectors in the future, I'm pretty sure. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.